Hey everyone, welcome to this CUBE conversation. I'm your host, Lisa Martin. Raj Gosain joins me now, the Chief Product Officer at Alation. Raj, great to have you on the CUBE, welcome. It's great to be here, Lisa, and I've uh, been a fan for a while and uh, excited to have a chance to talk with you live. And we got some exciting stuff to talk about. Alation, in terms of the success in the enterprise market, I see more than 25% of the Fortune 100 doing great there as customers. Alation and Snowflake, before we get into your exciting news, talk to me a little bit about the evolution of the partnership. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so, you know, we've always been a, a close partner and uh, uh, integrator with Snowflake. And last year, uh, Snowflake became an investor in Alation and they participated in our Series D round. And uh, the thing I'm most excited about beyond that is uh, we were announced in the uh, Snowflake Summit back in June to be their data governance partner of the year for the second year running. And so we've always had a close relationship with Snowflake, both at the go to market level and at the product level. And, uh, you know, the stuff that we're about to talk about is a, a testament to that. Absolutely, it is. So talk to us before we get into the announcement, what you're seeing in the market as organizations are really becoming much more serious about being data-driven and building a data culture. What are you seeing with respect to enterprises as well as those smaller folks? Yeah, no, it, it's it's a great question. I mean, you, you hear the tropes, data is the new oil, data is like water, it's essential. And we're seeing that very consistently across every customer, every segment, every geo that we, uh, that we talk to. I, I think the challenges that organizations are seeing that are leading to the amazing growth that we've seen at Alation are there's so much data, they don't know where it resides. You've got silos or islands of knowledge that exist across the, uh, the enterprise and they need a data intelligence platform to bring it all together to help them make sense of it and ultimately build a data culture that you know it lets their employees make data-driven decisions as opposed to relying on gut. And so those are some of the macro trends that we're seeing. And with the migration of data to the cloud and in particular Snowflake, it seemed like a huge opportunity for us to partner even more closely with, uh, with Snowflake. Um, and uh, we're, we're excited about the progress that we've seen with them thus far. All right, let's get right into it. So first of all, define a data culture and then talk to us about how Alation and Snowflake are helping organizations to really achieve that. Yeah, it, you know, it, it, it's interesting. The the co company vision that we have at Alation is to empower a curious and rational world. And, you know, what that really means is we want to deliver solutions that drive curiosity and drive rational behavior. So making making decisions based on data and insights as opposed to gut or, you know, the, the highest paid, you know, uh, uh, person's opinion or what have you. And so uh, delivering a data culture, building a data culture, which is something we hear from all the CDOs that we talk to is, hey, Alation, help us drive data literacy across the organization, provide that single source of reference. So if anybody has a question about do we have data that answers this? Or, you know, what kind of performance are we seeing in this product area? Give me a starting point for my data exploration journey. And that's really where Alation and our data intelligence solutions kind of come into the play. So unpack Alation Cloud Service for Snowflake. Talk to us about what it is, why you're doing it, what the significance of this partnership and this solution is delivering. Absolutely. So the Alation Cloud Service for Snowflake is a brand new offering that we just brought to market. And the intent really was, you know, we've had massive success in the global 2000. You mentioned the, the progress that we've had with Fortune 100 customers. We see the need for data culture and data literacy and governance in organizations, you know, that are massive global multinational enterprises, all the way down to uh, divisions of an organization or even, you know, uh, mid-market and SMB companies. And so we thought there was a huge opportunity to really drive data culture for those organizations that are adopting Snowflake, but still need that data intelligence overlay across the, uh, the data that's in the Snowflake cloud. And so what we did is we launched the uh, uh, Alation Cloud Service for Snowflake um, as a free trial and then, you know, low cost uh, purchase solution um, that, uh, you know, can be adopted for less than $100,000 a year. Got it. So tar from a target market perspective, that lower end of the market for, of course, you know, these days, Raj, as we talk about every company, regardless of size, regardless yeah. of industry and location has to be a data company. Yeah. Getting there and, and and really defining and going on a journey to get there is really complex. So you're going now down market to meet those customers where they are. Yeah. How will 
Alation Cloud Service for Snowflake help those customers, those smaller customers, really become data driven and and def- and adopt a data culture? Yeah, yeah, it's it's a great question. I, I think the biggest goal that we had was making it really simple and easy for them to begin this journey. So, uh, you know, we're now live in the Snowflake Partner Connect portal. And if someone wants to experience the power of Alation Cloud Service for Snowflake, they just need to go to that uh, portal, click the Alation tile, and literally within less than two minutes, a brand new instance of Alation is spun up. Their Snowflake data is automatically being cataloged as part of this trial, and they have 14 days to go through this experience and and get a sense of the power of Alation um, to give them insights into what's in their Snowflake uh, platform, uh, what governance uh, options they can layer on top of their uh, Snowflake data cloud, and how the data is transforming across their organization. So talk to me about who you're talking to within a customer. I was looking at some data that Alation provided to me, and I see that uh, according to Gartner, data culture is priority number one for chief data officers. But for those smaller organizations, do they have chief data officers? Is that responsibility line still with the CIO? Who are you engaging with? Yeah, it's a very, very, uh, really great question. Um, I, I think the larger organizations that we uh, uh, sell to definitely have a, a CDO. And, you know, CDO sometimes is a chief data and analytics officer in smaller organizations or even in divisions of uh, big companies that, that you know, might be target uh, customers for ACS for Snowflake. Could be a, a VP of analytics, uh, could be a head of marketing operations, could be a data engineering function. So that might roll up into the IT. And so I think that's what's interesting is we we wanted to take the friction out of the, the experience process and the trial process. And whoever is responsible for the Snowflake instance and, and leveraging Snowflake for, for data and analytics, they can explore and understand what the uh, power of Alation layered on top of Snowflake uh, can provide for them. Okay. So another another thing that I uncovered in researching for this segment is McKinsey says data culture is decision culture. I thought that was a really profound statement, but it's also such a challenge to get there as organizations of all sizes are on various points in their journey to become data driven. What does that mean? How, how, well, how do Alation and Snowflake help customers really achieve that data culture so that they can really have that decision culture so they can make faster, better data-based decisions. Yeah, it, it, so it, I think a huge part of it, like if we think about our, our our big area of focus, how do we enable users to find, understand, trust, govern, and use data within Snowflake in this uh, instance? And so step one to drive data culture is how, how do you provide a single source of reference, a, 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 a search box, frankly, you know, Google for your uh, for your data environment so that you can actually find it. Then how do you understand it? You know, what's in there? What does it mean? What are the relationships between these data objects? Can I trust this? Is this sandbox data or is this production data that can be used for reporting and analytics? How do I govern the data? So I know who's using it, who should use it, what policies are there. And so if, if we go through the set of features that we built into Alation Cloud Service for Snowflake, it enables us to deliver on that promise result at the very end, resulting in the ability to explore the data that uh, exists in the Snowflake platform as well. Let's go ahead and unpack that. Now talk to me about some of the key capabilities of the solution and what it's enabling organizations to achieve. Yeah, so it, you know, it starts with cataloging the data itself. You know, we 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 are the data catalog company. We basically define that category. And so, step one is how do we connect to Snowflake and automatically ingest all the metadata that exists within that Snowflake cloud, as well as extract the lineage relationships between tables, so you can understand how the data is transforming within the Snowflake uh, uh, data cloud. And so that provides visibility to to begin that fine journey. You know, how, how do I actually discover data? On the understand and trust front, I think where things get really interesting is we've integrated deeply with Snowflake's new data governance features. So they've got data policies uh, that provide things like row level security and, and uh, data masking. We integrate directly with those policies, extract them, ingest them into Alation so that they can be discovered, can be easily applied uh, or added to other data sets within Snowflake directly from the Alation UI. So now you've got policies layered on top of your data environment. Uh, Snowflake's introduced uh, tagging and classification capabilities. We automatically extract and ingest those tags. They're surfaced in Alation. So if somebody looks for a data set that they're not familiar with, they can see, oh, 
here are the policies that this data set is applied to, um, here are the tags that are applied. And so Snow, uh, Alation actually becomes almost like a user interface to the data that exists within uh, uh, that Snowflake platform. And then maybe just two other things. With the lineage that we extract, one of the most important things that you can deliver for users is um, impact analysis. Hey, if I'm going to deprecate this table or if I'm going to make a change to what this table definition is, what are the downstream objects uh, and users that should know about that? So, hey, if this table is going away and my uh, Tableau report over here is going to stop working, boy, it'd be great to be able to get visibility into that before that change is made. We can do that automatically within uh, uh, the Alation UI and, and really uh, just make it easier for somebody to govern and manage the data that exists within the uh, Snowflake data cloud. So easier to govern and manage the data. Let's go up a level or sure. two. Talk to me about some of the business outcomes that this solution is going to help organizations to achieve. We talked about every company these days has to be a data company. Consumers expect this very personalized, relevant experience. What are you thinking some of the outcomes are going to be that this technology and this partnership is going to unlock? Yeah, no, I think step one, and this has always been a huge area of focus for us, is just simply driving business productivity. So, you know, the the data that we see in talking to CDOs and CDAOs is the onboarding and, and getting productive, uh, the time it takes to onboard and, and get a data analyst productive, it, it can be nine to 12 months. And, you know, we all know the battle for talent these days is significant. And so, if we can provide a solution, and this is exactly what we do, that enables an organization to get a data analyst productive in weeks instead of months or, or you know, potentially even a year, the value that that analyst can deliver to the organization goes up dramatically because they're spending less time looking for data and figuring out who knows what about the data. They can go to Alation, get those insights, and start answering business questions as opposed to trying to wrangle or figure out does the data exist and and, and where does it exist. So that, that's one key dimension. I'd say the other one that, that I'd highlight is um, just being able to have a governance program that is monitored, managed, and well understood so that you know, whether it's dealing with CCPA or GDPR, you know, some of the regulatory regimes, the the ability for an organization to feel like they have control over their data and they understand where it is, who's using it, and how it's being used, those are hugely important business outcomes that CIOs and CDOs tell us they need. And that's why we built the uh, Alation Cloud Service for Snowflake. On the first front, one of the things that popped into my mind in terms of really enabling workforce productivity, workforce efficiency, getting analysts yeah. ramped up dramatically faster also yeah. seems to me to be something that your customers can leverage from a talent attraction and retention perspective, which in today's market is critical. I, I'm so glad you mentioned that. That's that's actually one of the key pillars that we highlight as well is like if you give great tools to employees, they're going to be happier and, and you'll be a, a preferred employer and people are going to feel like, oh, this is an organization that I want to work at because they're making my job easier and they're making it easier for me to deliver value and be productive to the organization. And that's it, it's absolutely critical. This, this war for talent that everybody talks about, it's real and great self-service tools that are empowering to uh, employees are uh, the things that are going to differentiate companies and allow them to, to unleash the power of data unleash the power of data, really use it to the competitive advantage that it can and should be used for. When we look at, when you look at customers that are on that journey, that data catalog journey, they, you probably see such a variety of, of locations about where they are in that journey. Do you see a common thread when you're in customer conversations? Is there kind of a common denominator that you you speak to where you, you really know Alation and Snowflake here is, absolutely the right thing. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's a good question. I would actually say the fact that a customer is on Snowflake, it, they're already you know, a step up on that maturity curve. It, you know, one of the big use cases that we see with customers that is is leading to the need for data intelligence solutions that, you know, like that Alation can deliver is digital transformation and, and, and cloud migration. Um, you know, uh, we've got legacy data, on-prem, we know we need to move to the cloud to get better agility, better scaling, uh, you know, perhaps, uh, you know, reduce costs, et cetera. And so I think step one on that, that uh, qualification criteria or that maturity journey is, 
hey, if you're already in Snowflake, that's a great sign because you're, you're recognizing the power of a data cloud platform and and, and warehouse like uh, Snowflake. And so that's a, a great signal to us that this is a customer that wants to, uh, uh, you know, really better understand how they can get value out of, uh, uh, out of their solution. I think the next step on that journey is a recognition that they're not utilizing the data that they have as effectively as they can and should be. And they're not, and, and their employees are still struggling with, uh, you know, where does the data exist? Can I trust it? it you know, it, it, who do I know tends to be more important than do I have a tool that will help me understand the data? And so customers that are asking those sorts of questions are ideal customers for the uh, Alation uh, cloud service for Snowflake uh, solution. So enabling those customers to get their hands on it. There's a free trial. Talk to us about that and where can the audience go to actually mm -hmm. click and try? Absolutely. So, you know, we'll, we'll be doing our usual marketing and, and promotion of this, but um, what uh, I'm super excited about, uh, you know, again, I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, this is part of our, our cloud native multi-tenant architecture. We are live in the Snowflake Partner Connect portal. And so if you are logged into Snowflake and are an admin, you can go to the Partner Connect portal and you will see a tile. Uh, I think it's alphabetically sorted and Alation starts with A. So pretty easy to find. I don't think you have to do too much uh, searching. And literally all you have to do is click on that tile. Um answer a couple of quick questions. And in the background, in about two minutes, your relation instance will get uh, spun up. Uh, we'll, we'll have sample data sets in there. There's some guided tours that you can walk through to kind of get a feel for the power of Snowflake. So uh, policy center, uh, lineage, um, you know, tags, our intelligent SQL tool that allows you to smartly query uh, the uh, uh, Snowflake uh, data cloud. And publish queries, share queries with others, collaborate on them for, for greater insights. And there's, you know, as you would expect with any, uh, you know, online free trial, um, you know, we've got a built-in chat bot. So if you have a question, want to get a better uh, sense of how a particular feature works or are curious about how Alation might work in other areas, you can, uh, you know, ask a question to the chat bot and we've got uh, product specialists on the back end that can answer questions. So we really want to make that journey as as seamless and easy as uh, as possible. And, Hopefully that results in enough interest that uh, the customer wants to, to or the, the trial user wants to become a customer. And, and that's where our great uh, sales organization will uh, kind of take the baton from there. And there's the there's the objective there. And I'm sure, Raj, folks can find out about the free trial and access that you, you mentioned through the marketplace. More information on Alation.com. I imagine they can go there to access it as well. 100%. Uh, Alation.com, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn. But yeah, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, you can just search for Alation Cloud Service for Snowflake uh, or just go to the uh, Alation.com website. Absolutely. All right. Alation Cloud Service for Snowflake. Congratulations on the launch to you and Thanks. the entire Alation team. We look forward to hearing customer success stories and really help seeing those business outcomes realized in the next few months. Raj, thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much, Lisa. It's great to talk to you. Likewise. For Raj Gassain, I'm Lisa Martin. Thank you for watching this CUBE conversation. Stay right here for more great action on the CUBE, the leader in live tech coverage.